Violence has to stop. We cannot lose another child in this country to violence in a school. And of course, that news conference took place with the uh, sheriff of Broward County, the governor, FBI officials, the school superintendent. Let's begin right now talking about that press conference with CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy. And Jim, we heard from the governor. He touched on uh, mental health issues, safety in schools, did not say those words uh, out of his mouth, gun control. But Superintendent Robert Runcie did mention the need for gun control. We heard from the president. He did not mention it. A lot of people are saying, what do we do now? And, and what are these leaders saying at this point? Well, here are the exact words that the Governor Rick Scott said. We want to make sure this never happens again. And he said people with mental illness should not have a gun. Now, that's a critical point. Everyone wants to talk about mental illness, but they don't want to really talk about the guns. Now, Sheriff Scott Israel as well, he pushed for the idea that says that law enforcement needs to be given broader power and called on people in Tallahassee to do their job in giving them that power. Let's play that sound right now. What I'm asking our lawmakers to do is go back to places like Tallahassee, places like Washington, D.C., and give police the power if they see something on social media, if they see graphic pictures of rifles and blood and gore and guns and bombs, if they see something, horrific language, if they see a person talking about, I want to grow up to be a serial killer, we need to have the power to take that person and bring them before mental health professionals at that particular time involuntarily and have them examined. Now, you want to know the truth? That bill that, that he's asking the legislature to write has already been written. This is it right here. It was introduced last year. It was assigned to a committee in January. It's Senate Bill 530. I'm just going to read you a small portion of it. Senator Audrey Gibson introduced a bill that would establish a method for courts to order an individual's gun seized and receive a petition from family or law enforcement if they're at risk. In other words, if members of this kid's family or if law enforcement knew that he was a danger, right now in under the current law, if they went into his house, interviewed him, they couldn't arrest him based on his blog post. If he had a table full of guns, as long as he had them legally, they couldn't do anything about that either. This bill, Senate Bill 530, would give them the authority to go in, petition a judge and say, we think he's at risk of himself and others. We want to have these guns removed from the house while we have a hearing on this and determine whether or not he needs the help that he has to get so desperately. That bill, however, However, because the NRA and Marion Hamry, the executive director of the NRA in Florida, will not allow that to happen, and it's dying right now in Tallahassee. They don't have to write a new bill, they have it already. And Marion Hamry has had that power for decades in Tallahassee. She still wields it very strongly. Jim, I have to ask you, because I was scratching my head when I'm listening to this news conference, because I heard uh, the, uh, the sheriff, I also heard others say, if you see something, say something. And just turns out that last year somebody saw a post on a YouTube channel that said, quote, I am going to be a professional school shooter, end quote. That was posted by someone with the username Nicholas Cruz. <laughs> somebody called the FBI. Somebody reported it. Somebody did the right thing. They did exactly what these leaders are saying to do. And the FBI agent in charge said that they could not they could not determine the identity of that person. I, I don't think we've heard the last of this. That answer was not satisfactory by any means. It's clear that they should have been able to identify. If you cannot figure out on social media who somebody is, the FBI has that power. But again, I come back to the point. Even if they had identified him, that law enforcement, the FBI, local authorities, even a person's family doesn't have the power or the, or the ability to do something, new type of interdiction to get those guns out of the house and out of his hands. And again, his screen name was Nicholas <laughs> Cruz, mm. spelled the way he spells it, and they could not identify him. Uh, Jim DeFitti, thank you very much. All right, and of course, a lot going on.